Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we are doing a fun little vlog style type video. I have some farmhouse items that I really wanna share with you guys that I'm really excited about that are super affordable, but absolutely adorable. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love them. I also have some new candles to share with you, which you guys know I'm obsessed with finding new candles and scents. I also just wanted to quickly come on here and say hello. I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in what seems like so long. I don't think I have really picked up the camera since I went back to work since this whole craziness happened. So hello, it is so nice to be chatting with you guys and filming again. I also wanted to apologize for not being as consistent here on YouTube. Instagram has been a little inconsistent as well. So my apologies for that. I'm just trying to get used to this new normal. I had my birthday, as you can see my little balloons back there. That was really nice. And today I am just gonna be hanging out. It's super like overcast and cloudy out. I'm also going to finish one of the DIY projects that I am filming for you guys. I have been doing it for the past like a week or so, and it's just taking up a lot of my time, so it's hard for me to finish it. So today, I think I'm going to head over to my parents and actually finish that today. But other than that, everything has been really good in my life. It's just been kind of craziness. It's been really busy at work as well, and just getting used to that. If you guys would like, I will go ahead and make like a full sit down video kind of dedicated to that sharing with you guys kind of what the new norm is like being back at work and all of that good stuff. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the candles and the cute farmhouse items that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So these are the four candles that I got from Sarah Candle Company. I absolutely love all of the scents. As you can see, there is two different sizes. They are both really good sized candles, which is nice. The scents that I got is Caribbean Teakwood, Desert Oasis, Hydrangea, and Cherry Blossom. So starting on the left, Caribbean Teakwood is really, really nice. It's definitely more of a manlier scent. I feel like any candles that have the teakwood in it has more of that masculine kind of scent, which is nice. I really enjoy burning those in my bathroom or my bedroom. The next one, Desert Oasis, is probably my favorite one out of all four of these candles. It has the most amazing smell. It reminds me of summer and I'm just absolutely in love with it. The next candle is Hydrangea, which if you guys didn't know, Hydrangeas are my absolute favorite flower of all time and this candle smells so, so good. I cannot wait to burn all of these. They're going to make my house smell so good. And then the last one that I got is Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom, I feel like, is a staple to have in your candle collection. I absolutely love Cherry Blossom anything. I like the lotions, love candles. I also love like the sprays as well. So I had to go ahead and pick up that one. It's just a nice, simple scent. It's not too overwhelming or anything like that. I really love the packaging of these candles as well. They're really nicely made, and I like that the logo and the scent is right here on the front. The tops are really nice. They just have the logo right there. And then I'll open it up so you can kind of see the candle inside. So there are three wicks, which is really great, especially for burning them evenly. And then for the smaller candle, there is only one, but with it being one, this is still gonna burn evenly because it's not as big as the bigger candles. The other interesting thing about Sarah Candle Company is that Sarah actually means wax in Spanish. So I thought that was kind of fun. I love finding out like the background of where companies come up with their name. If you guys have been looking for some new candles and are interested in checking out Sarah Candle Company, I will make sure to go ahead and leave a link to their website in the description box down below for you guys. Make sure to check them out. Also, let me know in the comments down below what scent would be your favorite that I picked out. So now that we have finished up with the little candle haul that I had for you guys, I'm going to share with you the three little farmhouse items that I have to share with you. One of my followers over on Instagram, Megan, she's such a sweetheart. She's gotten me a bunch of Ray Dunn stuff. She's always sending me links to really cute items. And a couple days ago, she sent me these links and she told me to look and see if they were in stock. 
because they were selling out in a lot of different cities. So I went ahead and saw if they were in stock at my local Walmart and they were. So I went ahead and purchased them. I didn't know I needed them or wanted them, but here we are. I'm really excited because I think this will definitely help with my laundry room organization. I absolutely love these three items. They are so affordable, you guys. They are from Walmart, like I said, and I will have a link to all of them down below for you guys if you are interested. I'm hoping that it's available in your city. I think they've been sold out online for a long time, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys can find them in your city. So the first one that I got is this cute little caddy. So it says fresh and clean on the front of it. Has this really cute rustic wood handle right here. It does have two openings right here in the inside as well. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna end up doing with this. I'm actually gonna bring you guys along today and fill all of these items up so you guys can see how I'm using them. My vision was to use this more for cleaning products, but it might still come in handy in the laundry room with putting different like detergents and stain remover and all of that good stuff. So I may go ahead and do that there. We'll have to go ahead and see how everything looks and how much storage I have over in my laundry room. If you guys haven't really seen my laundry room setup, it's fairly small, but it does have two sets of cabinets in there, which is where I will be putting these. I actually had this one sitting on my dryer on top of it for a while, and that looked really cute, so I may end up doing that to kind of have this like shown off. So the next thing that I got is this really cute laundry deluxe service little tin. Again, it has these same cute rustic wood handle on the top. These are all like a tin material. I absolutely love the look of these. I love how like rustic and farmhousey these look in my opinion. I would love to do more of like an open shelving kind of look in my laundry room. If you guys have that in your laundry room, let me know if you guys like that. This one I'm actually going to be using to put my Tide Pods in. Right now I'm using just like a clear jar with a top on it for all of my Tide Pods, but I thought this one would be better and obviously look way cuter. So the top just comes off. This is really large on the inside. It's probably harder for you guys to see how big it is. This actually did come with a little scooper, but I'm actually using it with the next item that I'm gonna share with you guys because obviously I don't need a scooper for my Tide Pods. If you do just have like normal laundry detergent, like the powder, that would 100% work. I almost wanna get one of these for work because we go through so much like laundry detergent powder that this would definitely come in handy and it would definitely make the space look a little bit cuter. The next and last item that I got is a smaller little tin, almost identical to the one that I just shared with you guys. I would say it's about half the size. So this is what the little tin looks like. It says laundry right here at the bottom. This one actually opens up and just folds backwards. So that's kind of nice that you don't have to worry about the top falling off. I did put the little scooper in this one. What I plan on using the smaller tin for is actually my little scent beads that I have. But I thought that would be good to keep them in here. And again, just kind of making things look a little bit better. If you guys know me, you know that I like for everything to kind of look and vibe well together. So this is definitely going to come in handy and the scooper will be nice because I can pretty much just scoop the little beads out of here and throw a scoop into the actual wash. If you guys are interested in any of these I will have them linked down below for you guys let me know if they are in stock in your area I'm very very curious I have heard that they do have a laundry basket in this line as well but I haven't been able to find it neither has my friend Megan so definitely keep a lookout for that I personally don't need a laundry basket, thank the Lord. I'm very happy with these purchases and for the price that they were, I honestly just couldn't be getting them. So now we're gonna go ahead and head into the laundry room and I'm going to show you guys how I'm exactly filling these up and what I'm gonna be putting in them. So here we are over in my laundry room. I'm gonna pull some of these items down so we can go ahead and start filling these up. So I'm gonna take this little small bin right here and put my little downy odor defense beads. These are my favorite, especially for like bedding and blankets. They make anything you wash them with smell so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and pour these in. So 
so there they are in there. And like I said, this is gonna be so easy to just take this off and scoop some into the wash when I need it. And so we're done with that. Now I'm gonna bring down my Tide Pods. This is gonna be great because I can probably put way more Tide Pods in here than what I can fit in here so I don't have to go to the store as often. So with this fresh and clean little caddy, I'm gonna try and put some little items in here from my cabinet and then I think I'm just gonna set it right over here in this corner, but put these up in the cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some down. I think I'm gonna take, like I said, some stain remover, some detergent, put my WD-40 in there. Also put my lint roller in there. We have some more stain remover stuff. Open this up. I also think I'm gonna put some driver sheets in there as well, just because it will be sitting right here. So probably put that in the front. Maybe put that there so you can kind of see that. This is also gonna free up so much space in my cabinet as well, which will be nice. I also have some of my little dryer balls, which I use a lot for, especially like my hoodies, my Sherpa hoodies, and also my blankets. It really helps just fluff them out and keep them nice looking. So I'm gonna put these back there as well. So this is what the caddy looks like completely filled up. So that's definitely going to be staying right there. I think that that will look nice. So we'll keep my iron there, but we'll move the downy over. I need to finish that downy because I switched to Tide Pods, so I don't even need that anymore, but I'm just trying to go through it so that I can get rid of it. But I hardly ever use it, like I said, so it's kind of hard to get rid of. Here's the little fresh and clean caddy. Need to put all that away, so don't mind that, but definitely think it looks more organized. I don't think I've shown you guys my decor and my laundry room in a long time. So I have this cute little sign from Target. I will link it for you guys if you are interested. And then I also have this cute laundry company sign that I got from Target Dollar Spot. I have my little gnome sitting right here. Then I have the dog's harnesses as well. I recently got these for them because we've been going on so many hikes. I got them from Joyride. It's so funny to look at my little Zoe's harness. It's so small, look at the difference. And this barely fits her and it's the smallest size that they had, which is crazy. And then I just have one of their little leashes hanging there. I really love this corner. It's the first thing that you see when you walk in from the garage. But I absolutely love this area. I am very curious to hear what you guys have to say. I do have this wash dry fold sign that I got from, I wanna say TJ Maxx. It's Ray Dunn, obviously, but I really like the way that it looked there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I just wanted to come on and share with you guys those few items and do a quick little haul and just chit chat with you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my parents' house right now. I wanna go over to their house to finish this DIY project for you guys. I'm really excited for that video coming as well. And I also have to do my dad's hair because he is actually unfortunately leaving to go out of state to help with COVID relief. So please keep him in your prayers if you get to this part of the video. I would really, really appreciate it. I also wanted to remind you guys to make sure to head over to my Instagram and enter May's giveaway. It is going to be ending very, very soon. I cannot believe we're almost into June. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to chatting with you guys down in the comments and I will see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous.